I think uh, the, the places where young people often get tripped up is around their own fear and their own inadequacy. And so often what I tried to do it was to be a mirror so that they could actually see themselves more authentically and to try to um, help them to develop skills so that they could listen more deeply internally instead of the voices of their peers or their parents or so on and so forth. Mostly it's, I always see myself as like this cheerleader. You can, yay, you know, the little cheerleader, the little Quaker cheerleader. Um, my name is Tracy Peterson. I um, live here in Richmond, Indiana. I just finished working at Earlham College, uh, 15 years at the college. Um, I attend uh, Clear Creek Friends Meeting and uh, College Meeting for Worship here on Earlham's campus. One of the things that um, Quaker education does for young people is it enlivens their spirit and helps them to cultivate their own voices there is a kind of bravery that this, when you're in your 18 to 26 that you have, you're just fierce. And uh, that's really exciting to, to walk along with um, young people at, during this period. It's very exciting. If we think about the founder of Quakerism, George Fox was a 20 something year old person. He was a young man and he had a prophetic voice and he had something important to say to the society in which he was raised and, and, and that nurtured him. And a movement was started as a result of his willingness to be faithful to that. Really the student organizing is that pr prophetic voice saying, Look at what you are saying and what your literature says about justice and peace, equality, and then what are you doing? Are those two lining up? Conflict isn't necessarily a bad thing because um, it brings to light um, deeply held values. Part of the work always is trying to um, speak the truth and in love, but speak the truth and then engage in that messiness um, because it isn't neat. Um, and, and recognize that even um, in that frustration that um, good things can emerge from that and often do. Oh, I think it's critical to the institution. And I know that there are naysayers that say that, um, you know, there are professional people who are, you know, trained to address whatever the issues are and students have only part of the story. Um, but I think it's so valuable and so important um, because if we are to try to live up to our aspirations, then we have to speak the truth. That's not going to get squelched here at Earlham. It will, like weeds, grow up through the crevices. And so it's not going to get silenced. And it's, in fact, um, one of the unique things about this college. Welcome to week three of the Quaker Speak Project. We release videos every Thursday. To keep up with the project, just hit that subscribe button above. You can watch last week's video, The Faithfulness Lecture, here. Quaker Speak is a project of Friends Journal. We work in collaboration with Friends General Conference and Quaker Voluntary Service. I'm the director of the project. My name is John Watts. And stay tuned for next week by hitting that subscribe button.